Why would a prescription of vitamin D cause frequent urination? Vitamin D deficiency can either result from insufficient exposure to sunlight or inadequate vitamin D dietary intake as well as absorption. Sometimes, even if the vitamin D is absorbed, the body cannot change it into an active form, mostly in such conditions like in the kidney, liver and other hereditary diseases. Aside from that, elderly are more likely to develop vitamin D insufficiency, because their skin cannot produce it since it was declined through advancing age. Hence, lots of people should take prescription vitamin D supplement in order to meet the daily requirement. However, most of the people taking prescription vitamin D are not aware that this supplementation can be toxic if you take it in higher amount without the doctor's prescription. This is so-called vitamin D toxicity, which results from either a single dose of prescription vitamin D or in taking into a small dose but in a prolonged period of time. Excess vitamin D in the body or vitamin D toxicity can result to very serious malady or side effects. The fact that the level of vitamin D increases in the body, the level of calcium in that blood is also elevated. Hypercalcemia is the main reason why there is a symptom of vitamin D toxicity. If the individual have an excess vitamin D in the body, the early symptoms of toxicity are gastrointestinal disorders like diarrhea, anorexia, constipation and nausea and vomiting. Few days or a week after a vitamin D overdose you will more likely to have bone pain, drowsiness, irregular heartbeat, headache, loss of appetite and muscle and joint pain. In addition, individuals will also experience alternating periods of constipation and diarrhea due to the excessive vitamin D present in the body. Other symptoms such as frequent urination, especially at night, weakness, excessive thirst, nervousness and itching are some of the symptoms of toxicity. Kidney diseases, heart problems are also found out that it is associated with severe toxicity. Also prolonged use might lead to the development of calcium crystals in the soft tissue of the body. Although our skin synthesizes vitamin D through sun exposure, we cannot develop vitamin D toxicity even if we are prolonged exposed. Toxicity is also less likely to produce when eating vitamin D rich foods such as salmon, milk, soy products, dairy products and the like. The most significant factor is the vitamin supplements. Therefore, you should take into consideration the safe dose of taking prescription vitamin D.